Hi everyone, this is Tamil Chelvan, Department of BBA, Aston Professor, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangod. Today we discuss about the topic, Cost Accounting. So, meaning of Cost Accounting, it is a business process in which we record, examine, summarize and study the company cost spending on any process, services, product or anything else in the organization. It will help the organization in cost controlling and making strategies, planning and decision to improve the cost efficiency. Then next we discuss about features of cost accounting. It is a subfield in accounting. It is a process of accounting for cost. It provides data to management for making a decision and budgeting for the futures. It helps to establish certain standard cost and budget. Then it provide costing data that help in fixing prices of goods and services and also a great tool to figure out the efficiency of a unit or a process. It can disclose wastage of time and resources. Then next we discuss about advantages of cost accounting. In advantages we have seven more points. First point discuss about measuring and improving efficiency. Then next one we discuss about identification of unprofitable activities, then fixing the price, then price reduction, then control over the stock, evaluate the reason for losses, then futures of planning. These are the points we discuss in the advantages of cost accounting. Then next we discuss about elements of cost. The first point we discuss about direct material. All the material which becomes an internal part of finished product and which can be assigned to specific physical units. Then indirect material, all the material which is used for purpose with the help of business and which cannot be assigned to specific physical unit. For example, consumable store, oil, waste, printing and stationary material etc. Then we discuss about indirect labor, for example, salary of gatekeeper, timekeeper, etc. Then indirect expenses, the factory rent, factory insurance. Then again we go for office and administrative expenses. First point, indirect material used in office, for example, printing and stationery. Then indirect labor, salaries payable to office manager, clerk. Indirect expenses, for example, office rent, office insurance, etc. Then selling and distribution overheads, indirect material used for packaging material, printing and stationery. Then indirect labor, salaries to salesman, sales manager. Then indirect expenses like rent, insurance, advertising expenses, etc. Then next we discuss about cost sheet format. All the expenses are incurred in a particular sheet is called cost sheet. In that cost sheet, first of all we add certain events, then again we can list certain events. The first one is for opening stock of raw material. We can add purchase of raw material and carriage of raw material. Then we deduct certain event, closing stock of raw material and material return. Then the answer will be come from direct material used. Then direct labor under direct expenses. These all the three directs are added. Then the answer will be come from prime cost. Then next we can add indirect expenses or indirect overheads. For example, factory overheads. All the factory expenses are comes under the factory overheads. Then we can add opening stock of work in progress and closing stock of work in progress. We can deduct. Then the answer will be come from work cost. Then we can take as office and administrative overheads. All the office expenses are included, incurred in a particular sheet in the topic. In the for office or under office expenses like office manager salary, office telephone bill charges, etc. Then the answer will be come from cost of production. Then again we can add opening stock of finished goods and closing stock of finished goods we can deduct. Then the answer will be come from cost of goods sold. Then we can add selling and distribution overheads. Selling 
selling and distribution in the sense certain sales tools are conducted then the answer will be come from cost of sales already we can have the answer for sales then we can deduct this the, the answer will be come from profit it is a positive figure then the losses are come from negative figures thank you